brings you June Allison and Van Heflin in Presenting Lily Mars. Ladies and gentlemen, your producer, Mr. William Keeley. Greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Some years ago, as a director in the theater, I was frequently confronted by that touching human problem, a young girl in search of a stage career. And I know from experience that that fire of ambition is most difficult to quench. You will understand that from tonight's play, presenting Lily Mars, starring two highly talented metro golden Mayor players, June Allison and Van Heflin. The latter appears in his original screen role as the Harris producer faced with all the artifice that novices will use to crash the theater. It's time for act one of presenting Lily Mars, starring June Allison in the title role and Van Heflin as John Thornway. Lily Mars, have your old career. Go on, be an actress. All I gotta say is goodbye. Oh, hello, Charlie. Got any bubble gum? No. Where's my hat? Davy? I don't collect hats, Charlie. Only doorknobs. Say, you should see this one. I am not interested in doorknobs or in your sister Lily. Goodbye. Oh, hello, Charlie. Lily's upstairs, I think. I know where your daughter is, Mrs. Mars, and it no longer is of any concern to me. I'm leaving. Hey, Charlie, wait for me. Never again, you... You actress! Lily, well, I believe you've hurt that poor boy's feelings. Oh, poor Charles. He's so young, Mother. And it hurts me to hurt him, but what can I do? It's Charles or my career. The foregoing bit of brilliant dialogue just occurred in the Mars residence, a plain little house on the front window of which hangs a sign reading Mrs. Mars, hats made to order, plain sewing and piano lessons. At the moment, Mrs. Mars is flourishing a hat box before her stage-struck daughter. I finished Mrs. Thornway's hat, dear. She'll want it for tonight. Oh, I'll take it right over, Mama. Maybe he's arrived already. Yes, dear. Just think, John Thornway, a regular Broadway producer, coming to Midhaven. Well, gee whiz, this is where he lives, ain't it? Oh, John Thornway lives in New York. His mother lives here. Certainly she does. Don't you think oh, I Oh, Mom, I simply can't wait till the show tonight. I think it's so wonderful of Mr. Thornway to bring his play from Broadway to Midhaven just for one night. The paper said it closed in New York. Yes, dear. Is Mr. Thornway going to let Lily act, Mama? Mama doesn't know yet, Poppy. Neither does Lily. But we certainly hope so. No, oh, how we hope so. Well, here I go with the hat. Goodbye. I'll go with you, Lily. No, Davy, the doorknobs might tempt you. Well, could you sort of maybe get one for me? Here, oh. take my screwdriver. Oh, well, maybe. all right, I'll take your screwdriver. Well, thank you, sister. Thanks, Lily. Gee. Gee when I come back, Mama, I may have a big surprise for you. Adieu for now. Adieu, dear. Oh, my. <laughs> But I'll be sure to tell him. Oh, Lily, dear, come in. Thank what, you. What, Mr. Vail? You and Miss Riquet will arrive early this afternoon. Fine. And, uh, yes, you think it would be a good idea to shoot Irene in Act One. Yes, I'll tell John. Goodbye. Uh, I brought your hat, Mrs. Thornway. Oh, just a second, dear. I want to write this down. Wants to shoot, wants to... Father, he wants to shoot some girl, but what girl in what act? Oh, that's about your son's new play, isn't it? Yes, that was the author, Owen Vale. Oh, how stupid of me. Oh, he said Irene, Mrs. Thornway. Shoot Irene in the first act. Oh, Lily, you're a lifesaver. Um, Mrs. Thornway, when you ask your son about a part for me, will you tell him I'd rather not play Irene? Oh, no. No, not if she gets killed in the first act. Well, now, now, let's see the hat. Well, you will tell him about me. Yes, dear, I'll be glad to. And if he says no, will you try to make him give me a part? Even Irene, if I have to. Oh, dear, this hat. And such a long feather. <laughs> yes, well, I if I could just meet him, and yes, maybe well, if I... going to be terribly busy, dear. Lily, this feather, I don't think I ordered a feather. Oh, Poppy found it, Mrs. Thornway. We all thought it might be nice. Well, I suppose I could cut it... Oh, that's John. I know he's slam. John! Oh, Mrs. Thornway, you won't forget... Yes, to... hurry, Lily. You get in that other room, and don't come out until I have John all nicely buttered up. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Thornway. Uh, oh, 
in here, darling. Oh, hello. Oh, well, you look wonderful. Oh, welcome home, John. How was your trip? Great, great. I worked on the new script all the way. Oh, is this it? That's it, the masterpiece. Oh, were there any messages? Yes, Owen Vale just phoned. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he said to tell you that he and this Riquet are driving here. Oh, that's fine, fine. Anything uh, new about Miss Riquet? Oh, now, look, Mother, I love Isabel as an actress. I'll do anything I can to keep her happy in the theater. And that's exactly as far as it goes. Yes, dear. Oh. What? John, do you remember Henry Mars? He used to come here to tune the piano. Mars? Mars? Oh, yes. Well, yeah. he died two years ago, and I'm I... I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, he left a wife and four children. Nobody knows how they manage, but they do. The, um, the oldest girl is Lily. Oh, that's nice. Such a talented girl, John. She acts. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Peter Pan, Macbeth, the Follies. Really? Oh, well, the Midhaven High School Follies. Now, no, 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 dear, don't get Mother, caught. you know the one thing that I cannot stand is amateur acting. But Lily's unusual. Unusual. Mother, there's a Lily Mars in every town, and they're all alike, so full of hope and so hopeless. Now, it won't hurt you to let her play a scene. Not a your... scene, not a line, not a syllable. All right, dear, but you'll be sorry. Excuse me just a second, darling. I left my glasses and the coat. Listen, I've got to go over the script. Uh, I guess I can work here at the desk. Oh, gotta... yes, of course, dear. Lily. Oh, it's all right, Mrs. Thornway. I heard. Gee, he's terribly pig-headed, isn't he? Terribly. Well, goodbye. You going to the performance tonight? Oh, I, I guess so. Goodbye, Mrs. Thornway. Goodbye. Oh, poor child. Well, that's funny. The knob's gone off that door. <laughs> even see me, Mama. He wouldn't even speak to me. Did you get the doorknob, Lily? Huh, Lily? Here, David. Oh, gosh. Is this super? My, that's a lovely one. Oh, Lily, don't you worry a bit about that old John Thornway. Oh, I'm not, Mama. Not really. That's good. I guess I'll hear from him, all right. You see, I stole his script. <laughs> Oh, yes, Miss Mars. You what? My manuscript? Well, I've been tearing the house apart. You... You found it in a ash can? Yes, yes, sure. I'll come right over right away. Oh, well, won't you come in? Uh, Chopin or Chapeau? What? Uh, are you interested in hats or piano lessons? I'm interested in my play script. I'm John Thornway. Why, how do you do? Lily, here he is. Oh, won't you sit down? Now, I, I'll just draw the shade. Draw, uh, that's draw the shade? Thing, you know. There, that's a better, doesn't it? The room's quite dark now. Almost like a, a theater. Please, look, all I want is my script. If you do... I must ask you to keep quiet, Mr. Thornway. Lily is entering. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. Oh, that no. with this blow might be the be-all and the end-all here. But here, upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. Oh. But in these cases, we still have judgment here that we but teach bloody instructions which, being taught, return to plague the inventor. <clears throat> this even-handed justice commends the ingredients of our poison chalice to our own lips. Dear, just lovely. Well, enjoy yourselves. Get up off the floor, Miss Mars. <clears throat> How was I, Mr. Thornway? Putrid. And now may I please have my play. But I did it exactly as I was told. Someone told you to do Macbeth that way? Yes, Professor Eggleston in school. Miss Mars, I'm going to talk to you for one minute. I shouldn't, but you're a friend of my mother's. And Dr. Thornway, your own father. You, you know, he brought me into the world. Yeah, well, that is not one of the qualifications for the stage. <laughs> now, about Macbeth, Miss Mars. Macbeth is planning a murder. His conscience is gnawing into his thoughts, gnawing like a relentless rat, gnawing. And you play him like a jitterbug with a bellyache. Oh, really? Now, will you please give me my play? It's under the cushion. You've been sitting on it. I, I've been sitting... <clears throat> a doorknob. Oh, and that's yours, too. Mine? Yes, um, my little brother. He collects doorknobs, and this one was so extra special that I... Oh, well, it... please, please keep it, Miss Mars. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Oh, 
dear, dear. Mama, Mama, Mama I've got another idea. Poppy! Yes, sir. And Elizabeth! Yes, Lily. Find that old shawl and pin it around Poppy's head. You mean like a refugee? Yep, that's it, and hurry. But Lily, what for? We're going to act, darling, for Mr. Thornway. <laughs> Yes, I, I got it, Mother. I'll be in the study. Oh, John, Mr. Casey, ma'am. Oh, Isabel. That's right, darling. Well, Isabel, where's, where's Owen? Oh, I'm putting the car away. Well, aren't you even going to kiss me? Oh. That's a little better. You know, I could be a lot fonder of you, Isabel, if you... If I bought Johnny. <laughs> well, if you just paid just a little bit more attention to your job. Oh, that again. I don't have to work for you, Johnny. In Pittsburgh, I can marry one million dollars worth of pig iron. All right. Now, why don't you? Because I don't like pig iron, Johnny. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Come here. Ah, oh, that's better, Johnny. Oh, oh sorry. Should have oh, 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 no, I'm glad to see you. Uh, look, listen, you can't shoot Irene in the first act. No? No, now, you've written a swell play. Just let it alone. Oh, decided yet when we go into rehearsal? Yes, next Monday. All right, now, come on off with you. I'll see you both here tonight after the show. Oh, that's right. Your mother's giving a reception. Yes? That's right. Now, I've got work to do. Just run along to the hotel and take yourself a nice long nap. You too, Owen. Bye-bye, oh, now. you. Uh, take a good look at that first act, will you? That's just what I'm going to do. Mm, let's see, now. Irene... Irene enters stage left, and she crosses to left center. Left center? Listen to me. She you made... must, John. <clears throat> you shall listen what? to me. What in... Oh, no. No, not again. Miss Mars. Oh, it's not for my sake, but for the sake of this poor child. Oh, what, why would she pay for our folly? Look at her. Your eyes, your smile. But not your name. Oh. Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, please, I want nothing for myself. Nothing. Oh, now cut it out. Oh, Papa, Papa. Shut up. Papa, Papa, Will Papa. Will you please get out of here and stop hounding me? Oh, but Mr. Thorn. Beat it and take that grubby little kid with you. Well, if you'd just give me a fair chance. All right, come here, come here. Here are a couple of passes for the show tonight. Now go down and see some acting, but for heaven's sakes, don't do any more. Oh, thank you, Mr. Thornway. Thank you, Mr. Thornway. Got any bubble gum? No. Well, she loves bubble gum. Do you know what I'm going to do if I ever catch you near me again? No, Mr. Thorne. Well, I'm going to take you across my knee and wallop the daylights out of you. Understand? Yes, sir. All right, now beat it. Yes, Mr. Thornway. Yes, Mr. Thornway. Well, I'll be. Owen, did you just hear what I just heard? That girl. Oh, she was lying, of course. But that baby, the image of John. Isabel, let's get out of here. <laughs> My dear Mrs. Thornway, a charming reception. I'm so glad you could come, Professor Eggleston. And the play tonight, the Mr. Oh, thank you. Oh, I must go and congratulate John. Do you have something to eat, Professor? There's roast beef at that table there. Roast and then beef? Over Excellent. How now, brown cow? Good evening. Oh, I've been watching you climb the wall. You must try coming in through the door sometime. It's much simpler. Oh, but I wasn't invited. Oh, my, it certainly looks like a wonderful party in there. Uh-huh. Why, you're Mr. Owen Vale, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You're the man who writes those wonderful... <gasps> it's... It's you. Huh? This afternoon, you're the girl... Oh. Uh... Well, what's the matter? Tell me. Has John Thornway never done anything for you? Oh, no, never. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like... Oh, there you are, Mr. Vale. Oh, his mother. Stop it being said, don't you... Why, Lily, dear, come in. Oh, I, I don't think I'd better, Mrs. Thornway. You, you see, you're so well. Oh, I guess he must have told you. Oh, that. Well, things like that don't upset John for very long. They don't upset him? Hey, what kind of a guy is he, anyway? Huh? Come along, Mr. Vale. Come along. <laughs> well, Why, my dear Lily. Well, hello, Professor Eggleston. And how are the children? <laughs> children? Two youngest had the mumps, but they're all fine now, thank goodness. Good, you're good. Uh, he did say children. Why, yes. Uh, hey, wait right here. Oh, Isabel, Isabel. Yes, Owen. Have you seen John, that girl, this afternoon? She's here. Oh, no. Oh, and she didn't play. No, 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 but it seems there's not just one. There are three. Three? At least. Oh, can I play two? What is this, new game? John, you've simply got to do something about that girl. 
What girl? What girl? Lily Mars. Oh, well, just don't pay any attention to her. You did. Oh, Isabel, there's at least one in every town. Darling, why are you so interested in this one? I've seen this one. And the child. One of them. This afternoon, remember? Outside your window. Well, uh, oh, oh, no. Say, what kind of a heel do you think I am? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. We, we should? Well, she's just another stage-struck kid who thinks she... Who are you looking at? Oh, she's here. She's here again. Hello, Mr. Thornway. Get out of here. Oh, help! Mrs. Thornway, help! All right, I'll, I'll go, Mr. Thornway. Honest, I will. I'll shimmy right over the wall. I'll get... All right. Uh, start, start climbing. Yes, sir. But before, when you were talking to those people in there, you, you looked so nice. Well, I'm so, not. Well, Mr. Thornway, please take me to New York. Miss Mars, my patience stretches just so far, you understand? Just so far. Oh, very well, if you really want me to go. I do, Miss Mars, I do very much. Well, you'll have to give me a boost. Or are you afraid of me? Afraid of you? You see, you are. I know why you treat me as a child. Because you're afraid to think of me as a woman. Oh, beat it! All right, I'm going. Good night. Good night! <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Zoe? Oh, nothing. Don't cry, Lily. Oh, I hate him. I just hate him. I hate him, too. Who does she hate, is Elizabeth? Oh, children. <laughs> children. Oh, no, no, no. What are you crying for? <laughs> because Lily is. Mr. Thornway <laughs> sneered at me, and he made me shinny back over the wall. But, dear, were you mean to Mr. Thornway? Oh, no, I was charming. Well, then, who should be ashamed? Him. And who should be crying? Him. And what should you be doing? Laughing. Uh, well, certainly. Now, off to bed, you two. Scoot, scoot. Oh, Lily. Lily, you're something very wonderful to me. What? Nineteen. Yes, and nowhere. Why, some very successful people didn't get their start until they were well past twenty. What you want is New York, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, then. Davy! Yes, Mommy? I'm asleep. Davy, dear, get George the piggy bank and bring him in here. Yes, Mommy. Oh, now, Mama, I'm not going to let now, you... No, you will, too. But, Mama, I just can't... Here's do... George the piggy bank, Mommy. Thank you, Davy. Good night. Good night. Lily, there's $28 here. You're going to take it and go to New York. Oh, my... Uh, I... Now, take it, Lily. And good night, darling. Oh, Mom... Davy. Hmm? Davy, I, I want you to put this money back in George the piggy bank. And don't let Mama see you doing it. Can't you do it, Lily? I won't be here. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. No, not now, dear. Tomorrow, after I leave. Huh? Leave? Yes, Davy. I'm going to New York. In a moment, we'll bring you the second act of presenting Lily Mars. Our conductor, Howard Barlow, leads the orchestra now in his brilliant interpretation of the gay and lively Merrymakers Dance. <laughs>
Mr. Keeley at the microphone. Act two of Presenting Lily Mars, starring June Allison as the lady in question and Van Heflin as John Thornway. <laughs> It's Monday morning, and in front of John Thornway's theater on New York's 44th Street, Miss Lily Mars gazes enraptured at the freshly mounted posters. Opening soon, Three Roads to Arden, starring Isabel Riquet. Full of confidence, Lily heads for the stage door. But guarding this sacred portal is a burly gentleman named Mike. Lady, I've thrown you out four times now. Lady, please, can't you take a hint? Lady, outside. Yes, sir. It's many hours later, and the lily is somewhat wilted. But she's in John Thornway's theater. True, it's dark and empty now, but to Lily, it's her first sight of heaven. I'm finished mopping up, honey. Time to get out now. Oh, so soon? Soon? Two hours since I let you come in here with me. Um, do you suppose I... I could sleep here tonight? Sorry, no sleeping allowed. <laughs> Only during performances. All right, I'll go. But I'll find some way to see Mr. Thornway. You see if I don't. Wait a minute. Has all this been about a job? Where are you from? Indiana. I hitchhiked. I got in this morning. How old? Nineteen. Hmm. Me? I was sixteen. I wanted to go on the stage, too, and I did. Well, where am I? You mean you've been trying since you were 16? Oh, I made the grade all right years ago. But look at me now. I started in carrying a spear, and I wind up carrying a mop. Oh. You know what you are? Crazy, huh? You're me. The same hopeful little hick that I was 45 years ago. You know what I'd do if I were you? Sure. Go home? No. I think you are home. I know I am. And I guess maybe you belong here, too. Oh, I do. I know I do. Got any money? I have a few dollars. Look, get a room. Get yourself some sleep. If you want to see Thornway, you got to look good. Might give you any trouble at the stage door. <laughs> Plenty. Uh, I'll leave a note for him. And if that big moose tries to oh, stop you again... Oh, thank you I'll... very, very much. All right, now, quiet. Quiet, everybody, please. Quiet. We'll start from the beginning of the scene again. Ready, Isabel? The whole scene again. I'm sorry, darling. All right, George. Let's have the cue. Would you... Would you mind telling Miss Adams that... that I've come? There's no one here by that name. This is Dr. Trent's home. But it must be this house Wait I... a minute. I've seen your face before, haven't I? That face. That face, let me look at you. Your... Miss Riquet, is something wrong? Johnny, look in the audience. All right, stop the rehearsal. You. Good morning, Mr. Thornway. I won't ask you how you got in here, Miss Mars, even how you got to New York. Oh, I hitchhiked. Did you? I'm terribly sorry if I interrupted the rehearsal, but... John, she's fainting. Oh, 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 for heaven's sake, get some water over here. How do you feel now, Miss Mars? Oh, much better, thank you. It was the best lunch I ever had. And just why hadn't you eaten anything since Indiana? Oh, I, I guess I just wasn't very hungry. <laughs> yeah. Well, Miss Mars, you win. I'm rolling in the dust. You will have a part in Three Roads to Arden, but only because you know my mother. Oh! And you come from my hometown and you're in need of work. Oh, how can I thank just you? Just by doing your job. Oh, I will. May I ask what it is? Yes, it's a maid. She has two speeches. Oh, that's wonderful. Good. Now, what you do outside of my theater is strictly your own affair. You understand? Oh, yes. You don't want me to bother you. Right. Starting right now, I wash my hands of any responsibility. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, there's uh, just one more thing. Yes? Where will you live? Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I thought so. All right, come on. Yes, sir. I'll help you find a boarding house, and after that... I think I'll get my head examined. Well, I'll leave you here, Miss Mars, and, uh, oh, here's $20. Now, you go in and register for that room. 
The uh, $20 will come out of your salary. Oh, you're so good. I am a louse as far as you're concerned, Miss Mars. I'll sleep much better at night knowing that you consider me a louse. Yes, sir. Yes. <clears throat> well, I'll be getting on back to the theater now. If you can wait a minute, I could go back with no, you. No, 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 no. You just be at rehearsal tomorrow morning at 9. 9. Sharp. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, uh, Lily. Goodbye, John. <laughs> dressing room, boss. Miss McKay and Mr. Vail. Boy, she sure put up a beef. Okay, thanks, Scotty. You just uh, keep the cast on stage. This won't take long, okay. I hope. Mind if I join you? But, Isabel, the play was written for you. You. Oh, hello, John. And I tell you, I will not play it as it is. The third act, John, I hate it. It does not march along. It, it dribbles. Well, 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 now let's just sit down and we'll talk about it, huh? Are you sure you have the time, darling? Oh, I'm sorry I'm late, Isabel. I had to have lunch. You and Miss Midhaven, Indiana... What did you eat? An elephant? Oh, now, look, after all, my father did bring her into the world, and, and I, I... All right, I gave her a job. She'll play the maid. Any objections? Yes. The third act. Well, what's wrong with it? Everything. Brighter dialogue, stronger scenes. Such as? Such as you are going to write. Give me a ring, John, if you and Bernard Shaw get any ideas. Oh. Ah, she'll be back. She'll cool off. Besides, maybe she's right about that third act. Hey, now, wait a minute. Listen, come up to my apartment tonight. We'll go over it, huh? Okay, you're the boss. Yeah, about 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. It is now 10 minutes to 11, John. Hmm? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. By any chance, are you thinking about Act 3? Uh, no. Have you got any ideas? Hmm. I've been thinking about women, too. Well, I'd like to know what makes you think... John, I only wish I had as much money as you don't know about dames. Look, if Isabel was squawking about just one scene, I'd figure she was on the level. But no, it's the whole act. Doesn't march along. And if you keep on getting any chummier with that babe from the woods... I am not chummy with Miss Mars. Isabel's got a great imagination. John, about such things women don't imagine, they know. I don't know how they know, but they know. Answer that, will you? Yeah. Hello? There's a Miss Mars to see Mr. Thornway. Shall I send her up? Uh, Yeah, certainly, right away. It's, uh, uh, it's your laundry. Oh, well, uh, come on now, let's get down to work. Okay. <laughs> Look at the end of the first scene in Act Three. The Major's just going to leave when Angela walks in. She's walked right into his hand. Now, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Okay, et cetera, et cetera. See, down here to where Robert comes in. The Major draws his gun and Robert surrenders. Now, Robert turns to Angela. Don't worry, darling, nothing will happen. Funny, isn't it? I had it all... Ah, uh, what's the use? Why? Forget the play. Isabel's jealous. How can she beef about this? She's got nothing to say. Oh, and it could be that's what she's beefing about. She's got nothing to say. She's got practically every line in scene two. She... Buzzer. All right, bring it in. Just bring it in. Look, maybe if, if she had the tag to the first scene, she'd... Good evening. Oh. So my laundry's here, huh? <laughs> well, Miss Mars... I just said good evening. Good evening and good night. Oh, well, I just wanted to tell you... I'm terribly sorry, but we're very busy. I, I went to bed, but I couldn't sleep. I just tossed and tossed. Whenever I'm worried, I just toss and toss. And... Well, that's very interesting. Now, uh, what's worrying you? Our show. Oh, now she doesn't like it. Oh, I do like it. I love it. But may I please say something? I know of no way of stopping you. Well, I think we need a new finish. To me, it's... It, uh, well, it just fizzles out. You see, this is, this is the way it goes. I know the way it goes. I wrote it myself. Robert says, you do understand. And Angela says, I, I understand. And Robert says, goodbye, Angela. Goodbye, my darling. Now, what does she say? She says, goodbye. Goodbye, my love. Well, exactly. And the curtain falls. It's not natural. Oh. Well, I can see that you have the solution. Oh, yes, certainly. Mm -hmm. Look, you're Robert. Uh, go ahead. Say your line. What? <clears throat> Goodbye, Angela. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye. Goodbye, my love. But my way, they kiss. See? They kiss good. Like this. Hey, wait a minute. And for how long does this go on? Oh, just one kiss. But don't you think that has more, well, um, more feeling? And that's what you came all the way up here to tell us, huh? Uh-huh. I couldn't sleep. It was bothering me. Well, now it's bothering me. What? Lily, go home. Please, Lily? Yes, John. Oh, I think Mr. K will be very pleased with the new end. Good night, Mr. Vale. Good night. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, 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 are you going to be busy tomorrow night? 
Why, no. Oh, no. Well, uh, perhaps you'd like to go out. After all, you haven't had a chance to see New York. And oh, John, I... I'd love it. Had you for now. Just say good night, Lily. Good night. What a bundle of laundry. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Lily. Yeah, well, I, I, I just thought I'd phone you. I'm uh, just about ready to leave the apartment. Well, how about the Panorama Club first? <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like that. All right, ten minutes, huh? Bye-bye. Hello. Who? Miss Riquet. Oh, oh, no, no. Uh, tell her I've gone. Tell her that I... I... On her way up? Now? Oh... Thanks. Oh, let's see, my robe, my robe, and a bath towel. Something tells me this isn't going to work, but, oh, brother, of all the time she had to... <clears throat> coming! Coming! Oh, Isabel! Hello, darling. Well, I was just taking a cold shower to wake me up. <laughs> I've got a pile of work that I... Johnny. Ah, 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 mustn't touch me. <laughs> Get all wet. Johnny. <laughs> Take tonight off. Oh, now, Angel, well, just look at that desk. I am sorry for yesterday. I was not a very good girl at rehearsal, oh, no? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. You're very good to me, Johnny. I could talk better over a glass of champagne. Oh, oh darling, look, I can't. Now, now, won't you believe you me? You are not going out with someone else. That who's your hot shot, for instance. Uh, Lily? You would not do such a thing to me, Johnny. <laughs> uh, do I look like I'm going out? Isabel, darling. Okay, Johnny. I'll go along home. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but you know with the show opening soon and, and everything? Yes, and everything. Huh? You're so busy you don't quite know what you're doing, do you? <laughs> well, it's uh, pretty nearly that bad. Yes. You should see a doctor, maybe, when you start taking shower baths with your shoes and pants on. Uh, what? Oh, it's a short robe, huh? Just don't stay out too late, Johnny. There's a rehearsal tomorrow. Oh. And I'm sorry I was a little late picking you up, Lily, but, uh, well, this is it, Club Panorama. Why, oh, it's, it's just wonderful, John. Just wait till Mom and Elizabeth and Davy and Poppy here I've been here. <laughs> this is the place where you meet so many interesting people, isn't it? Yes. So many interesting people. There, there, there isn't an echo here, is there? Hello, Johnny. Oh, uh, uh I Isabel. Miss Riquet, darling. We are, uh, uh, all alone, uh, Isabel? Oh, yes. I just dropped by for a minute. There was something I wanted to check up on. Oh, uh, would you, uh, do you care for a drink or anything? No, I don't care for a drink or anything. What time did you say rehearsal was in the morning, John? Uh, oh, uh, nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Uh, but you just come in whenever you like. Whenever I like. I'll do that, John. Good night. Good night, uh... uh my, Lily, my. Uh, yes. I hope to see you again sometime. Isabel... John, I think she's mad at something. Yes, Lily. Hopping mad. And the way she glared at... John, is this anything to do with me? Lily... Yes. Let's just dance. John, it's four o'clock. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, Scotty. Yeah, Mr. Bale. Tell the cast they can go home. Oh, stop worrying, boss. Miss Riquet will show up. You know how she is. Since 9 o'clock this morning, we've been waiting for Miss Riquet. Since 9 o'clock. Send him home, Scotty. Okay. That's all for today, everybody. That's all for today. Oh, is there anything I can do for you, boss? You can go out and get drunk for me. Uh, anything I can do? Yeah, you can help Scotty. Uh, let's go. John. Oh, hello, Lily. Hello. John, I'm going home. Back to Midhaven tonight. No. No, you're not. Oh, I heard what Mr. Vale and Scotty said. Now, what did they... What did you hear? Oh, nothing. Only... Only enough so I know if I go away, everything will be all right with the show and Mr. K and 
everything? Well, I'm not calling off the show. Oh, no, John, you mustn't. But I'm not going to do it unless I can do it right. John, I- I've been thinking that, well, maybe I... I know what you've been thinking. Well, I I believe I could do it. What do you think? <laughs> I think that I'm in love with you. Oh, John. John, I... Lily, you run along now, and I'll let you know what I'm going to do just as soon as I know myself. Yes, John. Thank you. Owen. Owen. Hello, Mr. John T. Thornway. The show opens as planned, ten days from tonight. Oh, hello, Scotty. Oh, hello, boss. With Isabel Riquet? Without Isabel Riquet. Right. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, John, don't do it. Lily's a sweet girl, clever, too, but she's not nearly ready to step into a big Just the same, I'm going to take that chance. Oh, think it over, John. It's an awful gamble. Sure it is, but what show business? Hey, where are you going? To a phone. I think that Lily would kind of like to hear the news. Yes? Well, yes, John. What? What? Oh, thank you, John. Thank you, darling. In just a moment, we'll bring you Act Three of Presenting Lily Mars. As their second musical offering, the orchestra will play the famous festival scene from Faust. Mr. Barlow. Turn you now to Mr. William Keeley. Here's the third act of Presenting Lily Mars, starring June Allison in the title role and Van Heflin as John Thornway. <laughs> Lily Mars was not prepared for John Thornway's sudden decision to star her in his new play. For an hour now, her stampeding heart has tossed her alternately 
from the dizzy heights of rapture to the dismal depths of panic. Still trembling, she places a long-distance call to Midhaven, Indiana. Hello? Yes? Lily! Darling, how are... Oh, what? Oh, bless your heart, child. Well, it's only what I expected sooner or later. Oh, yes, dear, I will. Oh, yes. Good night, darling. Goodbye. Hello, operator. Get me the Midhaven Daily Press. Children, guess what? Lily is a star. She'll twinkle all right. Oh, Midhaven Daily Press, I have a very important piece of news for you. Tell them about it, Mom. Shh, Tell them about it. Children, them. children, be quiet. Who? Oh, my name is Lily Ma's mother. And guess what? And now, later that night at the theater, Lily is frantically rehearsing her new part as John Thornway, slightly wild-eyed, struggles to teach it to her. Standing in the wings is Sarah, the scrub lady. It's not just the lines, Lily. It's the movement. You, you must watch your hands and the way you walk. All right, now, once again. Oh, John, you don't know how I appreciate this. You're telling me all these things. Yes, dear. Well, now, uh, let's just do it now, shall we? I'll give you the cue line. <laughs> you ready? The guard says, there's a lady to see you. Oh, Rob. Rob, I knew you sa said I shouldn't come. But you forgive me, don't you? Lily. Yes? No. No? No, darling. Look, try to remember that you are a mature woman. You've come to see the man you love. He's condemned to die. Oh. Now, now come on, darling. Let's, let's do it again, hmm? Of course. Oh, Rob. Rob. They just told no, me... No, 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 no. From the entrance, Lily. Oh, from the entrance, yes. You're doing fine, honey. Oh, I'm awful, Sarah. I'll never get it. Never. You will get it. Just don't get excited. Don't get excited. All right, all right, hold it. Hold it, please. Clear the stage, everyone. We'll try it again. Lily. I know, John, I know. The minute I did it wrong, I knew. Yes, Lily. All right, once again now, from the door open. Don't you see, Robert? If the Major knew, he'd have come long before this. Oh, don't worry, darling. It will soon be over and forgotten. We'll only remember how... Uh, how... How strong you are and what you've done for us. Oh, yes. How strong you are and what you... Start it again, please, from the beginning. All right, quiet, please. Now, quiet. I, I, I know it's late, everyone. I know that you're all tired, but this is Monday and we're supposed to open Wednesday night. Now, I'd like to try the end of the last scene just once more. George, do you mind? And that's one, Tara. That's it. All right. Lily, are you ready? You know what I want? Yes. You're sure? Yes. That's fine. All right, go ahead, George. That is one terror, my dearest. We shall never know. How much better to die within one's growing time? This side meridian. Oh, Rob. If I could only believe you're right. All that I am cries out that this is truth by chance and not by reason. And yet, I must believe. You do understand? I, I understand. Goodbye, Angela. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye. Goodbye, my love. Okay, curtain, that's it for now. Get something to eat back in an hour. Hey, boss, hey, boss, you got a minute? I was hey, just let him wondering alone, about Scotty. The... Let him alone. He's just wondering about plenty. Don't bother him. Yeah. Now, what do you think of her? Must you ask? She's hopeless. Yeah, I feel kind of sorry for her. She's trying so hard. Uh, save your sympathy for Thornway. He's going to lose his shirt. Did uh, Lily go to a dressing room? Yeah. I wonder if I ought to forget go with her. Forget it. Forget of... it. She's just no good. May I come in? Oh, John. Hello, Mr. Thornway. Oh, hello, Sarah. Listen, do me a favor, will you? Find Scotty and Mr. Vale and just ask them to wait, please. Oh, sure, Mr. Thornway. Thank you. Hello, John. Hello, Lily. How was I? Lily, you've learned more in a few days than most actresses learn in a lifetime. Someday you're going to be a great actress. You, 
You heard me call another rehearsal for tonight. We'll start just as soon as the cast has had a little rest and something to eat. All right, boss. I'm ready. No, Lily. I... I hate worse than anything in this world to tell you, but no, you're not ready. Uh, I don't understand. Well, I should have had more sense than to let you tackle such a tough part, but I, I, I just wasn't being sensible. Now I have to be, and so have you. I'm hopeless? Oh, no, darling, no. It, it, it's just that you're inexperienced. Lily, it's a tremendous job to carry a whole show. A girl has to be a finished actress. She has to be a big actress. And I'm only a little one. You're... You're a good little one. But this part calls for a good big one. And, uh... I, I've got her. Oh, I see. You've made up with Isabel Riquet. No, no, darling. It wasn't a question of making up with Isabel. It was business. Show business between two professional people who know that their job is more important than their personal feelings. Excuse me. Darling, I... Uh, she just phoned and she wants this dressing room right Well, uh, just a second, please, Scotty, please. Oh, she can move in now. Darling, I, uh, I... I can't tell you how rotten I feel about... Oh, it's... It's all right, John. Well, Isabel plays Angela and uh, you... Uh, you play your old part. Oh, I can't. I just can't. Lily, I I don't want you to go. Now, you can if you want to, and you can hate me for the rest of your life. But you do have a choice. You can stay and play the part of that maid better than any maid has ever been played before. And when you walk out on that stage and say your few lines and give them everything you've got, there'll be one less amateur in the world. And one more professional. Now, darling, that that's all up to you. I'm I'm going now, John. Bye. Lily. so glad to see you. It's just so wonderful, Lily. You're so wonderful. Oh, Mama. You look tired, dear. Lily, twinkle for me, will you? She's too tired, dear. Now give her her present. My present? I made you a new hat, darling. Give her the box, Poppy. Okay. Congratulations, Lily, dear, upon the start of your career. We love you best of all the stars. We're proud of you, Miss Lily Mars. Well, don't you want it, Lily? <gasps> <laughs> Mama, Lily's crying. Why, Lily, dear? <laughs> oh, I'm not a star. I'm not even an actress. I'm nothing oh, at all. There, there, dear. Now, no matter how bad it is, it isn't as bad as all that. <laughs> oh, Mama. I don't want to go home. Oh, yes, darling. Yes. Shh. There. There now, darling. <laughs> Smoking in the outer lobby only. There's no smoking here. Souvenir programs here. Souvenir programs. Read all about the cast, their pictures and biographies. Well, Scotty, any sign of Lily? Any word? No, nothing. Well, she doesn't go on till the end of the act. She could still make it. Oh, what are you stewing about? It's just a couple of lines. The other girl will do them. Oh, I'm worried about the boss. He hasn't been able to find her ever since he told her Riquet was coming back. He's got the biggest moneymaker in town, so he's got to worry about a dame. Where is he? Still at the stage door. His mother was just asking for him. I'll get him to join her in the box. Better get backstage, Scotty. Yep, see you later. Yeah. If you stay in this box for ten I minutes, John, I tell you how wonderful I think the play is. Oh, thanks, Mother. Well, Still no sign of Lily? No, no, not yet. She's miles from New York by now. Probably back in Indiana. But what now. about her part? Well, one of the other girls will have to double it. Oh, that's not like Lily. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, dear. Well, wow, Mother, you can't blame her. John, how soon was Lily supposed to make her entrance? Well, just a couple of speeches from now. Oh. That door over there opens and she comes in. Oh, don't worry about it, darling. Listen, go on and enjoy the play. Only one more day and one more night. 
That's all, Angela. We'll be in France in a week. Then we can go to America just as far from here as we can. Wait a minute. There's someone at the door. Mary. John, oh, thank John I look. It, I am looking. It's Lily. Lily. Come at once. That's it, see? darling. All right, no, now, now, stage sir. left. Sure, sir. Oh, watch go that back. table. All right, now, darling, Tell a little smile. Make sure they wait. Swell, yes, swell, yes, darling, And swell. who said there's a Lily Mars in every well, town? whoever he was, he was crazy. Oh, I'm so glad for you, dear. Oh, I knew she'd come back. Mother, listen, excuse me, I'll, I'll see you later. Where is she? Have you seen Lily? Well, Johnny. Oh, Isabel, darling, darling, you were swell. Oh, okay. Yes, is... I know. Oh, please. thanks for everything, Isabel. Oh, get it now. Run along and find Lily. Tell her for me she's a real. That's yes, it, darling. Okay. Well, boss, looks like another one. Oh, Scotty, Scotty, you were swell. Oh, Leo. Yes, sir. Swell costume. Swell. Swell. John. Thanks, George. George, you were swell. Hey, boss, just in case you're looking for yeah, Lily. Yeah, where'd you go? Have you seen well, her? Well, I'm trying to tell you. She just this minute grabbed her hat and ducked out. If you hurry, you might. Oh, thanks, Scotty. Thanks, you were swell. Lily. Hey, Lily, wait. What? Oh, John. Hello, Lily. Hello. Lily, you came back. You know, I... I never enjoyed any actress's performance so much in my life. John, I was only on the stage for a minute. Well, that was the happiest, it was the most thrilling moment I ever hoped to have in the theater. It made me sure that I was right about you. Lily, you're going to be a star. You're going to be a great star. Star? Poppy can't understand why I don't twinkle. Lily, do you mind if I kiss you? Oh, but darling, this crowd, we're right in the middle of... of 44th Street. <laughs> it's a good audience. And John... Yes, darling. Look at me, John. I'm twinkling. down on the final act of Presenting Lily Mars, tonight's radio theater presentation starring June Allison and Van Heflin. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.